Welcome back. Well, we have to just drop this spot in. It, it's the Kids Cup now. We've taken it uh, international as China's contribution to developing talents at that young age. So that's that's a future which um, everybody says you have to catch them young. Mm -hmm. But how do you see this initiative impacting on getting those young talents out there? It, it's beautiful. I follow your programs and I see what you're doing. It's unbelievable. Uh, I even just had a chat with your sports man. I said, okay. look, how do I, how do I <laughs> contribute? How do I get involved? There's a goalkeeper. I was a goalkeeper. Mm, and yeah. I'm like, how do I sponsor a goalkeeper? That it's, that's, this, this, this thing that it does to the kids, your mind, you, you, it gives you an opportunity to dream. I, I remember some years, years they had the use for them. Oh. I will never forget. Mm, yeah. And I came with River State. It was young, we were young. We came to National Stadium. I remember the first time we, I don't know where we stayed, I saw a signboard and I screamed that they corrected me. I said, uh, Victoria Island. Mm. You know? <laughs> yeah. Victoria Island. I, yeah. <laughs> you know, Victoria, I, I think it's some IS or something. Yes. Yeah, Victoria Island. All of us were saying, hey, see Victoria Island. So we didn't know. It was when we got down to the camp we were saying, they said, no, oh, this place is some Victoria Island. And we were like, ooh. We didn't know I was way young. We had just come to, the, to Lagos for the first mm -hmm. time. And I remember a guest of honor years ago was Babangida. He wasn't even head of state. You know, we, we, we lined up. We played a youth fund tournament, youth fund tournament mm -hmm. finals against um, a, Lagos, a Lagos team that we lost to 2-1. It was an experience for me. And I, it gave me an opportunity to dream because we played even at the national stadium. And you're like, this is where Harry wants to used to play. This is where Ocala played. And what you guys are doing is phenomenal. I just hope that sponsors should come in. People oh, people should come in and support. Don't give it to the FAO. Don't go you, there. You, you think that other African countries should perhaps <laughs> embrace this, um, this opportunity? Yeah, but it, it le it's, left, it's left for you guys. I think the right thing to do, this is how the, 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 the other tournaments happen in, in other parts of the world. You begin to invite other other countries that's how it goes global you can be global doing your own thing your own way but, but, but we have the blessing of the fa actually so no they should obviously they should bless because it's uh, the fa owns um, football in in the country you know but i think it has to go global look for maybe next year a team from ghana from south africa before you know it takes that international international uh, uh, um, yeah, space. Yeah, so yeah. Do, do you think we're doing well in terms of uh, what do you think the future is for uh, young people playing football and then combining it with, with their academics? It is important. And I tell people, they say, oh, we want to play. I say, go to school. Go to school. I have seen my mates that are not educated suffer. You know, and again, the, the, the kind of money you earn in Nigeria is not worth it. It's not what it even if you're paid mm. 300 or 200,000, 100,000. You know, people, there's this debate we've been having. Why don't um, young players graduate? Why don't, especially you see teams under 17, we win the World Cup. We win under 17 World Cup, we win 19 World Cup. And I tell them, pressure in Africa. Once mm. you win under 17 or 19 and you get small dollars, all your family will gather in your home <laughs> and share the money. They'll say, where's my share? So the pressure is heavy. W uh, what does going to school do to them in the long term? You will stop playing one day. And if, even if you've made money, it is, it, it is important to manage the money you've made. It is important to, 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 to even mm. divert yeah. and you know, do some other things mm. with your life. I do TV now. I pastor a church. I do business. So... It's really helped me because I, I went to school. Fantastic place to live in and always a pleasure to have you on. And uh, we look forward to your next outing whenever you're in town. Hey, we'll also uh, do something. And hopefully you make time out to come for the, the channels. Uh, yeah, I've, been, I've been invited. I think hopefully oh, nice. I, I should get to the stadium. You should. Yes, you should. It, it will yeah. be interesting. <laughs> so there you go. That's the show today. Well, thank you all for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm Chamberlain Usa. Many thanks for watching. I'm Gimba Omar. What, what did I tell you about stomach infrastructure and football? Well, thank you for watching today. The disparity is there. 7,000 to 4 million.